you saw the title and you saw the thumbnail, Bryce Young sucks. The guy, in my opinion, does not have nor ever will have what it takes to succeed in the National Football League. And before you go pause this video, like a lot of people do when there's a there's like a hate video or a differing opinion um, to, to what they believe in, um, before you do that, pause the video and leave a hate comment on the video because I have a different opinion than you. I want you to go watch the film and I want you to sort of write down what you see and I want you to write down the multiple quote unquote elite traits that he showed on the film during his rookie year. I want you to show the flashes of potential that he showed of, you know, elite ball placement, great arm strength, and great mobility. Because people were actually calling this guy generational before the draft. And no five foot nine quarterback will ever be generational. In fact, anybody who's below about six foot probably shouldn't be playing quarterback. Because you have to be tall to play quarterback. I'm sorry, there's rarely ever been a quarterback under six feet tall that has had a sustained and prolonged period of success in the history of the National Football League. I can't name one not named Russell Wilson that has won a Super Bowl, that has led a team to a Super Bowl, not as a backup fucking bomb practice squad player, but an actual starter that's under six foot. Other than Russell Wilson, we have Drew Brees, who is exactly six foot, but Bryce Young is 5'9", maybe 5'8". Maybe even five. The guy is so short, he can barely see over his line. He's best throwing to the sideline on screen passes. He doesn't have that arm talent that really wows you, that jumps off the fucking tape. He does His, his ball placement, for as great as it was supposed to be in college, which, by the way, was a fucking lie. Go back and watch the Alabama film. Most of the fucking catches down the field, the receiver had to make an adjustment and make a play on the ball. The, the ball placement is erratic. It's all over the place. The guy is throwing it behind the receiver, he's throwing it too low, he's throwing it too high, and he's throwing it, oh, sailing the ball. I mean, he routinely makes the, the, the easiest throws look difficult, and it's just, he doesn't have the arm strength to play in the NFL. I'm sorry, yes, he looked like he had good arm strength in college, but apparently that did not translate well over in the NFL because his throws lack any sort of velocity or zip on them whatsoever. Reading coverages, non-existent. This guy did not show he could read the defense quick. Like, you know, his fucking, the guy who was picked second, CJ Stroud, who was processing defenses in two seconds and then getting the ball out of his hands. Bryce Young would routinely hold on to the ball, try to make plays and try to throw it when there was nothing there. And once again, I want you to write down the three elite traits that, that all of you um, critics um, of this video. I want you to write those down in the comments below and I want you to give reasons. I, I don't want you to say, oh, because that's what it looked like on film. I want you to give reasons. I want you to provide video evidence because you can't do it. You can't give any sort of proof that Bryce Young is going to be any good anytime soon. I don't care. You could give this guy Jerry Rice, fucking Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson. It doesn't matter what receiver and what you can have five Anthony Munoz is fucking blocking for the dude and give him Barry Sanders and Emmett Smith. It doesn't matter. Give this guy the greatest team ever and he, that team will never make the playoffs because Bryce Young is simply not good enough to play in the league. And if you think that the NFL teams are going to do something different against Bryce Young, they're going to do the exact same things that they were doing to sort of plot and scheme against him in his rookie season. They're going to send blitzes. They're going to confuse him. They're going to disguise coverage because they know he is a slow processor of information in the NFL. Based on the first year, he wasn't getting the ball out quick. And most of his throws were, were stupid. You know, he would hold on the ball for three seconds and then throw a short dinky pass that fucking on third, like third and eight, or he'd miss a guy wide open over the middle of the field because he is five foot eight. He can't see over the middle. He has Kyler Murray syndrome. Kyler Murray's like five foot nine. He's barely taller than fucking Bryce Young, but Bryce Young being shorter than Kyler Murray is a detriment to his game. And it's going to be sad to see the Panthers fans continue to hype up this scrub quarterback. In my opinion, he's already one of the biggest draft busts in history. Because from what we've seen, he doesn't have what it takes. He doesn't have the accuracy, the ball placement, and the arm strength, the, the mobility. He looks like a below average athlete. I'm sorry to tell you the truth. He looks like a below average athlete. Linebackers were catching up to this guy. And people will make the excuse that, oh, linebackers are fast in the NFL. Well, 
out of college, Bryce Young was supposed to have some sort of elite mobility and elite processing speed, yet that never showed up a single time on the film. Watch the film. Watch every game that he was the starting quarterback in for the Carolina Panthers in his rookie season. Did he show once that he had elite mobility, that he had great arm strength, that he could process coverage, and had elite accuracy in ball placement? He can't throw with timing. He can't throw with anticipation. He can barely throw with touch. I mean, the guy is just fucking bad. He's just not a good quarterback. And nobody can give me any film evidence of this guy playing well because he's never going to be able to play well with his frame, with his size, with his lack of arm strength, with his average athleticism and erratic ball placement and terrible accuracy. This guy has bust written all over him. And Carolina Panthers fans are going to see very, very quickly that this guy is not the future of their franchise. I think that they are probably going to, to, to have a, a top pick in this draft and they are almost certainly going to pick Carson Beck because they need a quarterback. I know Carson Beck is not that mobile, but still, it'd be an immediate upgrade over Bryce Young who can't read coverage, who has a lack of arm strength and has no elite fucking traits on the film. Name one, name one elite trait that he has because he doesn't have a single trait that I consider, could consider to be elite whatsoever. Watch the film, come back to me, and I want all of you Panthers fans and all of you haters of this video to list the three elite traits he showed on film. And I want you to, to give me videos and give me, give me film, give me the actual evidence and write, the, write down in the comments explaining how those traits that you've listed are elite because he doesn't fucking have any. I'm done with this video. Thank you all for watching. This has been Mr. Truth and this was nothing but the truth.